I want to kind of explain who Peter is. Peter is one of the disciples. Pretty much he's a homeboy from uh, the old days with Jesus. He kind of walked with Jesus. He was kind of one of the first disciples that kind of was in the inner circle. He was uh, spiritually fed by Jesus. He was physically fed by Jesus. And he kind of walked with him. He learned a lot from his mentor. And to him, at that time, it was his God. Jesus was his God. Um, and I kind of wanted to paint the picture of what's happening. At this moment, Peter is really depressed. He's very sad. He just denied his best friend. He just denied his mentor. He said, yo, I don't even know that dude. Get me away from him. So at this time, Jesus is dead. He just lost his, you know, his a father figure to him. He lost a mentor. He lost uh, his God. And uh, Peter was a fisherman. Uh, Jesus actually goes out into the water and kind of uh, confronts Peter and says, yo, let's go fishing. And so Peter was a fisherman. So he had a, a deep yearning for going out in the water. He loved to fish. It was actually his business at the time which is really cool because that was his passion turned into a business, left the world of fishing, and he became a fisherman of men, is what Jesus kind of quotes early on in the book. And we see something very cool that we can kind of extract a principle and kind of place it in our lives. The Bible says that he just left everything behind, whether it was a business that kept going or whether he just left his boat, didn't really care about it, and kind of started to follow Jesus for about three years. So we see that Peter wasn't really enjoying his pastime like he used to um, because he was walking around. He was doing cool things. He was seeing people be healed, people who could walk. He, they were walking, the blind were So he was seeing some cool stuff. Then we see that he denies Jesus. He's, Jesus dies. So right now he's depressed. Peter, after Jesus dies, Peter goes back to the very thing that God has implanted in him to do. He says, Yo, y'all, I don't know what y'all are doing right now, but I'm going to go fishing. And so at the end of the book of uh, John, we see that Peter goes fishing and he's enjoying his passion. He's enjoying his thing. And when he's done, when he kind of says, okay, you know what? I've passed my time. I'm refilled. Whether he caught fish or not, he comes back. He, you know, he, he starts packing all his rods. He takes the sail down. He starts rowing back in. And um, at this point, Jesus was dead. No one knew he was going to come back. And something very beautiful happens. Uh, Jesus re-meets him there. And I hope that I hope that you guys understand that, that God had met him when he was in his hobby. When he was doing his passion, that's when Jesus was able to move in. You know, twice Jesus met him in his passion. Um, so I kind of wanted to pull the principles out and I wanted to ask you guys, what is it that you guys are struggling with? What is it that you guys are going through? Is it addiction? Are you depressed? Is it financial issues? Is it emotional issues? Physical uh, ailments? Are you sick? Are you unhealthy? What is it? Is it girlfriend issues? Boyfriend issues? I want you to, to start to write down the things that you love to do. What are your passions? What do you enjoy to do? What makes you smile? And I want you guys to go out and I want you to do that. Because I believe that God focuses in on when we are still and when we are enjoying ourselves. And I believe that that is an act of worship. And that's when he comes in and that's when he meets you. We see in the book of uh, John with Peter and Jesus, he started fishing and boom, there was Jesus. That Whatever it is that makes you happy, whatever it is that makes you passionate, your hobby, just do it and use that for the Lord and allow that to be an act of worship and God will meet you there. So no need to be depressed no need to be down. And if you are, go back to the very thing that God has given you because your passion is not yours. God gave it to you and there is a way that you can do it for him. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just go ahead and subscribe, like, or share. It'll really help us out. Thank you and have a great day. God bless.